Right, guys, I'm gonna have to keep this short. They're on to me. Listen, Grandpa and Granny are not what they seem, guys. Something has happened to them, and they're not the same. I could have sworn I saw Granny walking around with a baseball bat, and what covered the end of that thing? We don't want to go there. Granddad is absolutely furious as well for whatever reason. I have no idea what's going on. However, one thing I can tell you guys with certainty today is that Grandpa, you're about to get that footwork. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to Granny <laughs> Chapter 2. We are back to the house once again, guys, because even though we escaped through the sewer, we obviously got caught once again. Turns out when these guys here work as a duo, it is pretty darn difficult to escape the house. Therefore, for today's episode, we're not going to quite dabble in that. What I think we're going to do, however, is check out Grandpa's quirks. We did Granny in the last episode, and if you didn't see that video, you should definitely check it out. We got the sewer in them, by the way. So for today's episode, I'm going to be playing against Grandpa, and I'm also going to try and escape via the front door. I started to figure out a few things. However, it was nowhere near enough, so we've got a lot more that we've got to try and figure out. One thing which took me by surprise was that the last episode of this game got 30,000 likes. So guys, thank you. That is insane. All I'm saying is you want the next episode. Let's go ahead and smash that goal, you know what I'm saying? And also to get the elephant out of the room. Yes, I did dye my hair. Let's go through this then. So, be quiet. Granny hears everything. Well, it doesn't matter. Granny went out to get some groceries. Grandpa doesn't hear very well, but he hits hard. So, it seems like with Grandpa, it's his sight, which is his strong point. So, if we stand on floorboards, it ain't such a bother. And to be honest, that's about everything we need to be concerned with. With Granny, she can also hear the floorboards and see, but I think Grandpa is a lot quicker. Day one. Guys. All I'm saying is they captured the wrong person this time. They're keeping me here for five whole days. Give me one. That will be enough. And just like that, we are good. So let's try and figure this mess out. This might be a little bit of a different way we're going to play this game, but I have no doubts. We will figure out exactly how we can get around this. I've just figured as well. With Granny, you can actually lure her to places. Like, you can get her out of sight. But with just Grandpa... You can't do that because he can't hear anything. So that will pose a lot of problems in terms of like getting around the house. So once he locks onto us, we better hide nice and quick. That's our only means to escape it, bro. If I see the back of his shiny old forehead though, like my hand. Let's open this a second. No items in here. Like we can't even trap them in here this time. Like I know this is how I meet my demise if I don't escape in five days. But Gramps, we can't lure him in there. He'll just follow us in simply. You know, I think before we even check upstairs, I'm gonna check down here. Sometimes you can find an item. And uh, first of all, a nice baby you guys had there. Mm, this is simply locked up. Now, we don't even need to really use this thing. As said before, I am gonna try and get the escape through the door. So let's see if we can start to figure this out. I've got a feeling that that method might be more difficult anyway. Okay, so let's listen. It's the first time we're actually going upstairs. Oh my god. Yeah, I know you see me. Dude, is he gonna see me come down here? I don't know. Look, I won't close the door. I'm for a shift. Let's go, dude. Listen. He would have lost us down here. He wouldn't have been able to follow us. So, come on, Gramps. Give up. Oh, what the what the freak? What, what? What? Okay, so I'm gonna wait here a second. Listen for the footsteps. Fortunately, my dude is heavy footed as freak, so wait. He might be going over towards the bathroom. Let's take a look. This is our chance. Immediately. What do we got? What do we got? Nothing. Okay, that's fine. Hope he's not upstairs. Crawl nice and sorry. See? No, he's not up here. Okay, we have the whole of upstairs to ourselves. So, there's some ammo for the stun gun. Stun gun and the ammo. Yo, Gramps! What's good? He's not upstairs, is he? Oh, he is. Okay, shoot him. Shoot him. Oh my god! <laughs> he's gone for a minute. Look at that dude. Saggy is freak. First off, the ammo, we can leave that together, but we have to take that. Getting the key, though, from around Grandpa's neck. Get the freak out of my way, Gramps. Look at this, dude. Get out of here. Security key. Hold up. What is that for? I always forget there is a security cabinet somewhere. What? Oh, man. Look, I'm going to run through these rooms a sec. Let's get, like, some bearings so we can figure out where items are as well. Nothing in there. Yo, I got to find the security closet. Slide this open. Nothing there. Open these drawers. Okay, there's a crank right there. Yes! That's for the weapons closet. Okay, good stuff. So we'll leave that open there. It doesn't matter again about noise. That's kind of why I'm looking forward to playing this. We're always so scared about making noise, croaking floorboards, etc. But not this time. We don't got to think. The freak out of my way, man. All right, now listen. Hold up. Dude, I think I'm freaking out right now. All right, we've got something down here. What the freak is that? It looks like a screwdriver, maybe? A door. The door. For the front door. Yo, you ain't gonna open a door if the door handle is missing, right? We hear this guy walking around upstairs. Now, it's gonna be difficult because we also can't, like I said before, you sound. He don't hear that. It don't matter to old Gramps right now. He's deaf as free. Let me close that door a sec. Okay, so we've got the wheel in here. Now, boat steering wheel. That's not the one we need. I really do want to try and go for a specific ending on this occasion. I kind of feel like that would be good fun. Take a look here. Dude, I hear my guy roaming around. I don't know where he is, so take a look. Nowhere nearby. He's not that way either. Okay, listen, now we close this door. Yo, let's get all FNAF up in here. Hold up. 
Try and find him. Oh, Grumps, where you roaming right now, huh? Just curious. So he's not in the kitchen, and he's not in the basement. Hmm. Where is he? That's basically by the door. This is the second floor here. Open the second. Okay. The boat key. Yo, stop giving me things for the wrong escape. I don't want to escape via no boat. I'm passing a blind spot. I really can't figure out where he could be. Okay, so we'll climb this all the same. No, climb it up. That's it. Let's try and figure out what we do with the security key. I don't know why. I can't remember what to do with it. First door opens up. So we have this. Now we have to shoot the button to get through there. So we've got to find the crossbow. Check in these drawers as well. Come on, give me some luck. Dang it. How about in here? That's what we need, the hand with. Okay, so look, let me knock this out of the way. Now, I think I'm going to drop the key. What I'm going to try and do is, I think, place this down on the lower level. That would help out a lot. So, yeet that down there. Uh, okay, it's got stuck in my stomach. Yeet. There we go. Okay, that's definitely down there. Good. Throw with that. Now, the security key. What is this used for? Why is this, like, the most difficult thing for some reason? Yo, look at this bald head dude using cameras. I bet this man can't even send an email, right? Wait, is he checking the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Gramps? is checking the cameras, and if he sees me, does he actually go to the location? Like, he's scrolling through the cameras. We're seeing this. That's kind of bizarre, man. Well, I'm gonna take my chance to actually get out of here, so yeah, see you later, you idiot. Dude, you know what I'm gonna do to be safe? Listen, Grandpa's got one way back, so give me the ammo. Let's get ready. So trying to hear a bit, so a door lock. What do I need that for? Will it, like, stop him from being able to come through? Wait, look at this dude. Straight in the forehead. Oh. <laughs> To your knees, idiot. Okay, let's search the rest of the kitchen then. We found a lot of items so far. This is really good. Let's see. Anything more here? There's a crowbar. Now, we may as well use that upstairs whilst we can. And then I think I might try and use maybe the special key for something. Open this. We've got the gasoline can. Again, for an escape route that has nothing to do with the way I want to get through this game. Let's freak out of here. Right, give me the security key. So where do I actually use this? I'm not really sure. I might just place it here for now. I want to bring down also the hand wheel because we know we definitely need that. That is what basically shuts the electricity off. Okay, to optimize as much as we can, guys, let's go back in here. Now, we know that the weapons key is right here. Or Hi. the door handle. Where did I see the weapons key? It was in a drawer. I left it open. Wait, yo, what the freak? I got the cutting class. I need it for that. To shut off the electricity. Yo, he spawned back in. He spawned back in. Back up, back up, back up. Do I gotta use this for the third time already on Gramps? Give me that. I got the shocker ammo. We're gonna have to use it again. Look, my guy. Learn your lips. <laughs> it's not been a good day for this guy. He trapped the wrong person. Look, Gramps, just because I can. Get the freak out of here, man. Okay, so we pull this. This opens this drawer here. Now, where was that weapons key? I'm gonna think soon. And this guy too. Nothing in the shower this time. And uh, yeah, fortunately nothing down there. Got a spark plug. Again for an escape room that has nothing to do with the way I want to get through. Wait. Why is the clock chiming? What does that mean? Does he do something different? Dude, I wait for him to spawn back in. The freak? I don't understand what's going on. The clock chimed, but... What the f... Oh, I gotta check that clock once I go downstairs. I never heard that before. Interesting why it would happen and... Definitely doesn't happen for no reason, at least I think. All right, we've got Gramps out once again, guys. Now, I think weapons key right here. Perfect. So, go down through the grate. This takes us as well straight into the bathtub. Well, I say bathtub. I say more shower, guys. And I'm going to be using that thing, so. I will, however, use this. Go ahead and load this. Now, people were saying I could load it twice. I didn't really feel like I needed to in the last episode, so I keep dropping it. And I'm not sure if the ammo falls out whenever it does. Yo, you chime. And you provide me nothing. What gives? By the way, can we just honor the selfie angle that Slendrina took right there? You know, holding the camera right there. Let's you try the best. Not bad. Check in here. Nothing there. I feel like we've basically got all of the means already to escape this mess. So, Gramps, you've made this very easy. Granny is going to be really peeved. It's good. She's still got the name of this game, you know? Okay, guys. He's upstairs. Look, my guy has his back to us. Look, I can... Wait, what? Hold up. Again? What the freak? My first shot was a blank, but I took him down anyway. Jeez, look, I'm literally hunting this guy down. <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm loving this. Okay, we've got this roller done once again, so Yay. I'm going to throw that so the ammo does stay inside the weapon. I thought it might deload it, so that's good. We have 90 seconds as well to clear as much of this as we can. Now, can we get the day one escape? You know, turn that. I think that's just the power off then, but I could be wrong. Check out. Ooh, no, that opens the gate, but the electricity's still beaming on through. Now, we already know how we can escape through there, so we need the safe key. Got to figure out still what the security key is for. All right, guys, no joy finding what the security key is for, but I'm out here walking around with a shotgun right now. Guys, it's a matter of time. This is probably so fearful for Gramps. Like, he probably regrets every decision made. Okay, take the shot. Oh! Ooh, that was way too close. We just about got him. Hang on a second. So, where the weapons are stored, what about if there's something more in there and I completely overlooked it? Let me just see. Crouch under... 
I don't think so. Nope. No, there's nothing. What room haven't I checked for an item? There's one specific room we must be missing something out of. Okay, I'm gonna try the security key real quickly in here. Maybe this works. Let's try. Mm. Need a safe key. I, why can't I think what this is for? I'm so confused. Hmm, what about this crate? If we got the crowbar and brought it down here. Okay, so got the crowbar. Now let's head down to the basement. This is the only thing I can think to do. If not, there's gotta be one more thing we've missed. There's gotta be. Yo, please have something good in there. Oh, the cutting pliers. It is something. Yeah, we'll take that. Now with this, we can cut the power. And I think we can use the crowbars as well on the door. Then we put the door handle on the door. And what more do we actually have to do after that point? I kind of feel like we got this in the bag. Get that freak off there. Okay, now we already know what to do. Yoink! Let the power split. Let me actually first of all get rid of those cutting pliers. Let's take the door handle. Can we use this now on the door? It's not electrified. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Dude, padlock key. I thought that might be the security lock thing. It's not. Real quick, real quick. We get this. If we can get the day one escape, that would be insane, right? This has got to come off. It's just a one click. But those both are. Now, we need the padlock key. We've got to find where the security key is used for. Then once we get that, we should be able to get the rest under control as soon as possible. Yo! Give me the shotgun, thanks. Uh, Honestly, turning this corner right here is going to be Gramps' worst nightmare. I think he's learned to expect basically what's coming his way. <laughs> Same with this one. It doesn't matter. Let me try this. Padlock key. Why is this like the biggest mystery of this game so far? What the heck is the security key? My guy keeps it like around his neck so it's on his person at all times. But why? It wouldn't happen to be for this down here, would it? Like, this isn't the security lock. Let's try it. It's the padlock key. Guys, my brain right now is just like turned off. I don't understand what to do. You know, I think I'm going to have to do this, guys. I don't know what else to do, so... Line up the shot, take it. Right. Looks like it hit. So we've got to get the cutters, and I think I left them up here. Maybe, if not, they're just downstairs, so easily retrievable. Cutting pliers got. Let's go ahead and do this. Now, I didn't even get to appreciate what was in there last time, because something fell out, but I wasn't sure who it was. It was a key character or something. Let's see. We cut these with the pliers. First one, second one. So let's see. Dude, it busts on open. Look at this guy right here. Yo, hunchback of Notre Dame. Yo, you look like Uncle Fester. Yo, turn over. Let's see that face. Let's see that face. Oh my god. Guys, we found Dracula. He was selfishly holding onto the key. The safe key. Now, I think I know the location for this. This is gonna get things moving once again. Finally, that progression, guys. So hop down. All right, get rid of that. So, give me that shotgun. How about we find Gramps, you know? Instead of him finding us. I see you. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's right there behind us. Okay. Land the shotgun. Ah! <sighs> Takes care of him. Shotgun places on the floor there. Now, with the safe key, let's get this. Okay, I think this is the safe here. It is. And this one gives us... That looks like the padlock key. Hold up. Is this the padlock right here? Guys, I think we're good right now. Yo, throw the key down there. Let's give him a homewarming present, okay? One last thing to remember us by. The last of his shotgun ammo. I mean, whilst we got some time to chill, let's check out the decor. I mean, interesting, uh, interesting art right there. A potato with eyes. So here we got a nice grand piano. No seat to play it, so granny or grandpa, they prefer playing standing up. And also, probably one of the worst portraits I've seen. Let's not even talk about how the art was created right there. Hey, Gramps, I'm piecing out. You want to come down and say bye? Hold up, I just saw him. Is he walking away? Um... All right, I guess we'll give you the leaving present with IMC. <laughs> oh man, that was some good success rate. At least, I think we're free. Hang on a second. We're good. We're escaping already. We're swimming away. We made sure we got nice and clear. Let's see what happens here though. Grandpa looking bewildered. Confused. Where the freak did we go? What are you going to tell grandma, huh? He's got no idea. Look at him wearing a potato sack for a t-shirt. The end. So we've got both different escape routes. I don't know if there's a third one for this game. Okay, now, just because we got that done so quick, I'm curious to see Grandpa's difficulty on extreme mode. We're not gonna beat this, there's no way. They move faster than you, two extra locks on the main door, darker mode is on. Oh boy, ah. Uh like waking up. Ooh, the darkened mode. Really kicking in right now. Oh, they caught someone with bad eyes, so unfortunately. Let's see what we can do then. I think this mode's gonna be a little bit scarier too, with Grandpa obviously running around. Man, my field of view is trash. Any weapons down here? Yo, shotgun? What? No shotgun? I don't even see him. Look at this. He could... What the freak? It's like an extra lock there. Yo, you can't even get through. Okay, I'm gonna try and get this started though. Let's try and see if we can get at least one thing done here. The clock's chiming. Yo, I'm gonna go over to it now. I wanna see... Why does it chime? I have no idea. Oh my god! <laughs> um... Yo, dark mode! Makes this terrifying on the computer because you get so much more into it. Uh, I'm gonna try this one more time, guys. Let's see, let's at least get this started. He's like opening doors. I don't even see him. He could be anywhere. We already got that limp on. He must be upstairs. He opened a door. He's running around up there. Literally. I'm gonna open this. Oh, Dude, I can't play this on the dark mode. Oh my god. 
What the freak? It threw me back to the menu after two tries? Why did it do that? You only get two nights to win? All right, guys. Well, either way, that was taking out Grandpa and also going for the door ending. Both escape routes done. This gave me some time to also try and understand these characters a bit better. And you know what? I think we could probably take both of them on at the same time. So if you want that next video, yes! I think you know exactly what to do. However, I'm going to keep this outro nice and short. We escaped Grandpa on day one. He didn't take us out a single time. Then checked out on the extreme map, which uh, <laughs> bad idea. Either way, though, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.